there are several methods for which you can calculate order. I'll see which ones I can remember off the top of my head. One way you could do it is from experimental uh, data uh, in which you were given concentrations of the reactants and the rate. And this is where you take the ratios of, say, rate 1 over rate 2, and you solve for the exponent. This is a way to find the order of a reaction. Uh, another way is a reaction mechanism. If you go through a reaction mechanism problem, that leads you to the rate law. You add the exponents in the rate law, and now you have the order. So this is another way to find the order. Uh, another way to find the order is to plot data or look at a given plot. And then plotting it, you're going to plot three potential plots if you're given data. Uh, the concentration of A versus time, the natural log of concentration versus time, and one over the concentration versus time. Whichever one gives you the line with the correct slope, that tells you the order of the reaction. Uh, kind of a, not a normal way, but another way can be to use the integrated rate law. This would be sort of a funny way to be given this problem, but if you're given all the information for an integrated rate law, the initial concentration, the concentration at time t, uh, and the rate constant, you can uh, put it onto the equation if the right side equals the left, say for the second order rate, integrated rate law, then it's second order. So you put it in your integrated rate law, is it equal for the zero, the first, or the second? And that will tell you which the rate law, which the order it is. And then finally, half-life. So there's kind of two ways that the half-life can help you find the order. Because, oh, not because, first I'll say that each half-life has a different rea uh, equation for its order. So uh, one is similar to the previous. If you know all the variables and you plug them all into each equation, which side, which equation works the best. The other possible way is what you did in the lab, which is you're given a ratio of two concentrations, and you have the half-lives for both. And so just like you did in lab, you take that ratio and you find the order. Those are the ways. Do I need to elaborate on any of these? Pull this one, two, three, four, or five. I should say asterisk. Okay, stop the tape. Oh, basically, I'll, I'll say one more thing. So what you would do is say what information is given. And that will tell you how to solve it. Are you given concentrations of reactions and rate? You do the first one. If you're given a bunch of reactions, you do the reaction mechanism. If you're given data or a plot, you do the third one. If you're given just information that fits the integrated rate law, you do that one, or information that fits the half-life, you do that one. 